In every situation, things that take place are mostly unpredictable. It's not every day that you may find yourself in a situation that requires you to save a life. But that must not be a reason for us not to learn to save one in some way. Here's what you can do to help a person in need of saving, specifically a person in need of cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. The first is to survey the scene. Always check if the area is safe and won't have any interruptions that may delay your resuscitation. The second is to call for help or medical assistance. Keep in mind that we have numerous hotlines that we can contact in case of emergency. 911 is a three-digit number that is considered as a national emergency hotline, which you can use to call for any assistance in an emergency. While waiting for medical assistance, you may now do your part which is to check on the patient's consciousness or responsiveness. If the patient is unconscious, it is best to ensure that they are still breathing and have a pulse. To do this, you must check for A, B, C, airway, breathing, and circulation. Open the airway by doing the jaw thrust or head lit chin, and check breathing by looking for any chest movement, and by listening and feeling their breathing for 5 to 10 seconds. If breathing is absent, give two slow breaths. Ensure adequate chest rise and allow for exhalation between breaths. Check for signs of circulation for 5 to 10 seconds. Begin CPR by giving 30 chest compressions and two slow breaths for two minutes. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. After two minutes, recheck for pulse and signs of circulation for five to ten seconds. If pulse is present but breathing is absent, begin rescue breathing for two minutes. After two minutes, Recheck for signs of circulation for 5 to 10 seconds and place the victim in a recovery position.